Welcome to Truck in Tuesday. Now we'll do the grave digger here. It's okay. You recognize it right away what it is, right? This one has an off track element to it. Since we have an off road truck, we're going to go down the magnet, come down, come across. The only thing is, they, they have us going around like this when we're on the off road part, but really, you can just cut to the left. Here we go. Probably going to start. You know, when you do the track building, it, the starting gate is over there by the pool table. Um, it starts in between the pool table and the couch. Oh, they moved it. Boosts. So if you look at the mini map, we're going to follow the directions in the mini map. Pretty soon we're going to go off road. Right now it's a solid track, you see? And then when it goes dotted, it's off road. So they want us to come down here. U turn, come back. They could have put a checkpoint. They have off road checkpoints. I should show you after this. So we come around and they want us to go up, but there was no checkpoint. So I could have just cut from where I came off of the track and then just cut straight over here. So we'll do a proper path the first time. Boom. You can't put on the magnetic track that I'm on, you can't put boosts, you can't put anything on it. I'm not, why, why? Well, it's a good thing that the barrier was there, so it slowed me down. Because you put a boost right between. Put a boost right before the curve. So a minute 24, we're going to restart the lap. And then I'm gonna just going to go straight across. And then after this, let me show you how to, if you're going to build a track where the off-road uh, part is. The off-road checkpoint. So if you, if you look at the mini map, he wants me to go to the right, I fell off. He wants me to go to the right over here, but I could just go left, it was right there. And if you don't put a checkpoint, then people can just come this way. Slow down, slow down. I might get under a minute. I probably could, but I was talking a little bit too. So anyways, one minute four. Let's show how to you choose the uh, off-road checkpoints. I just do a quick track. I'm not going to publish this track. I'm just going to do a quick uh, demonstration so that this way if people are watching, they can know. Uh, we're going to go to Track Builder. It's up there on the top row. Track Builder, we're going to do, well, he did it right there, right? So just do it there. I told you that it starts off. I put your start gate in between the pool table and the couch. So we'll be in the middle of the room, but you can move it around. Just see, this is how you lift it up and down. Or, oh, you can't see. If you push, I'm sorry, up and down is L1. L1 goes up and down. R1, can't see it, but it's snap. Snap is a triangle. So if you do it, you can see what it says for your system. I'm going to snap this down to the ground. And that's where the start's going to be. Let me back up so we can see. I'm going to make a curve just so that we can drive around. And we're going to put a regular checkpoint right here. 
This way people can uh, shortcut the track. Now let's go ahead and make an angle with the beveled exit. And let's say I want to use off-road track with cones. That's what he was using, right? So I'm going to put that. I'm going to bend it. I'm using my left joystick to bend it. And go straight back over here. Uh, is there enough room? Uh, with the invisible track, you can you can go through some things like uh, the legs of the couch. I think I think in a lot of seat you can go through the legs of the couch because when people are driving, they're going to drive around it. So coming that way, and let's say I want them. I'm pretending I want them to come over here. Maybe I should get get out so I can see what's going on. I'm pretending I want them to. Oh, I forgot something. Checkpoint. I'm going to sneak a checkpoint over here. Not sneak a checkpoint. You should use checkpoints. Here's a regular checkpoint with a track. And if you're off road, you don't want to use that one. You want to use the one next to it right there. It has, it's a checkpoint for off road. Use that. Now let's get back to our track with the cones. Let's curve this, come around, come around. I'm going to keep it on the inside just to keep, make, make it easier. Uh, I'm going to pass through here just to give me a little curve. And you, I can only touch the furniture because I have invisible track. I'm going to shrink this by pulling back on my joystick. On the left one, I'm going to pull down on the joystick. Kind of getting it straight here. Now, actually, let's get the... Uh, it wants to connect, which is good. And I'll go ahead and X. Track validation. We'll go ahead. We're going to validate this. We get to drive the... It's not a truck. It's a bulldozer. Tractor. And you see my mini map, right? There's that off road track to the left. And someone might think, well, this is off road. I'm just going to come this way. I know the off road was right there to get back on. Right? Because there's a finish line. I could just drive right here. Oh, checkpoint missed. So this way you disallow people from trying to shortcut the track. Just you, if you're using off-road, you have these off-road checkpoints. You could use a regular checkpoint with a track, but they have a they have a certain a certain one with off-road. Now I don't have to follow the path, right? I'm just off-road. If I wanted to, I would have put another checkpoint right there. Put another checkpoint over here that would make people go over there before coming back here. And that's it. Now the track is validated. I'm not going to publish it because it was just a temporary thing just to build so you can see I'm gonna go ahead uh, hey you validated the track okay do you want to save this track before you exit no thank you but when you work see right here oh build a little bit save build a little bit save this way you don't make a mistake if you make a mistake you accidentally exit or maybe one of your little uh, furry friends steps on the power cord and it uh, turns off your PlayStation. So save often, right? You know what I forgot to do? I got to check to see if the Baja truck was upgraded. I'm on the Baja truck. Yeah, if it wasn't uh, upgraded, you would see like a green dots instead of orange. Uh, but if it says legendary, that means, that means it's all the way uh, boosted. Don't forget, check out my eBay store if you're looking for die cast for your collection or someone you love. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Happy racing. Bye-bye.